Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. In this reading, we're gonna be looking at how your person is thinking, feeling about you, what are their inner thoughts and feelings, and I guess we'll look more closely also at like what they're planning to do in terms of this connection, their intentions towards this connection. I think I mentioned everything I need to mention there, so let's get started. This is going to be for those of you that are in a connection with someone or have someone in mind. Let's see what we need to know about this individual for Aquarius spirit regarding the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time. Let's start with their overall energy. What is this person's overall energy when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? Wow, the Empress, beautiful energy, growth, potential, abundance, beauty, love. Uh, the Empress knows her worth. The Empress is someone with a lot of value, a lot that they bring to the table. They are self-sufficient. Um, this person could be putting you on a pedestal or sees you as an Empress-like energy, Aquarius. Or they want to bring this to the connection. They, they see the potential of this connection. They want to nurture this connection, right? Tell us more, Spirit, about this person's energy towards Aquarius, towards this connection. What do we need to know? Page of Swords. Okay, so I'm instantly getting this energy of someone that sees you, notices you, and then wants to talk to you. Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. This could be online for some of you. Uh, maybe you are social media contacts. But I get the sense that this person sees you, sees your photo, sees a video of you and it's like they need to talk to you or they want to talk to you they have something to say um okay so let's get some insight into their energies with the oracles now if you are interested in entering for the giveaway i am going to link the decks below I'm gonna, if i could speak today i'm going to have the direct links to each of the decks in the description box below so that you can see the pictures and things like that. All right, what's this person's overall energy towards Aquarius? What is their overall energy spirit? This person's overall energy towards Aquarius. Okay, we have poisoned apple, warnings, deception, red flags. Well, that's not great. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aquarius? Labyrinth, confusion, uncertainty, complexity. Okay, Aquarius, so this could be that there's already a layer of complexity when it comes to you and this person. You know, the connection between you, the history between you. Some of you could be dealing with um, a situation where this person just doesn't know what they want. Um, they know that they like you. They know they're attracted to you. They're into what you have to offer. But maybe maybe they just are still figuring themselves out. And that could be a red flag for you. And then for others of you, I'm picking up that this might be a third party interference. Someone else you need to kind of be aware of. Let me get another one. Tell me more, tell me more for Aquarius. What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? Towards Aquarius spirit, what do we need to know? Walking away, departure, journey, movement. You are walking away towards something more fulfilling. So there might've been a situation already where one of you walked away from the other person. Bottom of the deck is reaching out, and I feel like someone wants to reach out now. After walking away, let's see, what do they want to tell you? Let's clarify this page of swords. Oh man, the plot thickens, Aquarius. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. Tell me about the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? The moon, Pisces energy. So, okay, 
when I see something um, like a page of swords, queen of swords, ace of swords with the moon, I think of getting clarity. I think of, you know, whatever has been hidden underneath the surface, it's brought to light. Tell me about the page of swords. The nine of wands. Knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'm starting to think this is a past person. Like you have interacted with this person already. Or this is someone, I feel like that's going to fit for most of you, but this could also be somebody that they have buried their feelings for you. Like they have buried their feelings to the point where like it's become a burden, an issue for them. Let's see. Tell me more about this moon. Tell me more. the eight of wands. Okay. Tell me more about the moon. Why is the moon here? The four of wands. Ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think they want to talk about, I guess, I'm getting a lot of messages. I feel like this is somebody who, they ruined a good thing. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. You are someone with a lot of value, like we said, you know, like, the, like this reading started with that, with the Empress. And your person is thinking about this Empress energy. It's in their, you know, this is their overall energy when it comes to you in this connection. So I think that they ruined something with an Empress. And I think it was possibly that they weren't honest. Because the moon is here. Or there was an illusion here. They didn't present themselves to be who they really were. You know, it's like they were wearing a mask. Or they were playing a part. And I feel like they're trying to get back to what they had here. And for some of you, this is like your idea of them. So let me see if I can like put this into words because for some, re some reason, words are just failing me today, but I'm determined to make it through this reading. So I feel like this is someone who maybe your, your perception of this person was ruined. Um, you can never see them the same way you were bamboozled by them and now the mask is off and they have no cred credibility. This person does not like that. It, you know, it's, it's almost like they're trying to restore their credibility here. And they're probably gonna tell you that they were really affected by what happened, that they know that they messed up, that this was something with a lot of promise and they have no one to blame but themselves. What do they wish they could tell Aquarius right now, Spirit? What does this person wish they could tell Aquarius? Let's move this over. What do they wish they could tell Aquarius that they haven't told Aquarius? Wow, the Ace of Swords. They actually want to be honest with you. What do they wish they could tell Aquarius that they haven't been able to tell Aquarius through? Okay, we got a lot. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck is Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Aquarius, so I'm starting to get like an idea of what this is. This could be a friend, a past partner. This could be um, someone that you just started talking to. You were in the talking stages. No matter which scenario that, that, you know, that false, no matter which scenario applies, oh my God, what is going on today? No matter which scenario applies for you, it, the end outcome is the same, which is you are not able to see this person the same way. I feel like a lot of you might have cut off this person, blocked this person, told them to get out of your life, that you no longer wanted any sort of interaction or relationship with them. But this person is not giving up. I feel like they want to be honest with you. They have, you know, something to say. And I feel it's in, with the intent of fixing this, of bringing back balance to this connection. 
um, because they can't, they just can't let things end this way. That's kind of the, the energy I'm getting is like, I cannot end, I cannot let things end this way. I cannot let Aquarius think of me as this person that I honestly don't feel like I am. Let's get some PSI love yous out here. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about what are this person's thoughts, feelings, what's in their heart space at this time when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? What's in their heart space? Waiting around? Okay. I feel like this person probably thought that you were going to be easier to, I don't want to say easier to manipulate, but almost like they would they would be able to resolve this in a, um, in a quicker way. But I feel like you've kind of left them waiting for you. What else? What else do we need to know? Other half. And I don't have the courage to face you. I feel like they've waited around for the right time to come forward because they don't have the courage here um bottom of the deck is i will make this right again okay yeah this is definitely somebody that wants to fix whatever happened and this could be like i said a friend a past partner um someone that maybe it could have even been somebody you started talking to and they ghosted you or something like that or they lied to you about something let's look real quick at this person's intentions towards you What are this person's intentions towards Aquarius for the near future here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got the same cards that we had kind of before. The Nine of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Wands. This Nine of Wands is reminding me of the Seven of Wands. I feel like you have a guard up, a defensive posture against this person. Trust issues with the Nine of Wands. I always think of trust issues with the Nine of Wands when it comes with the, when other energies like this come out. You don't trust this person, and they know it. So how do they come forward and have like this Four of Wands again? Stability, harmony, resolution. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. A lot of you, this is going to be like a DM, something online snap or something tell me about this eight of wands why is the eight of wands here oh the emperor aries energy and then the moon at the bottom of the deck again pisces energy um yeah they're very motivated this person they're hoping this communication clears things up like they they're hoping that this clears up the misunderstanding yeah there's a knight of swords after that that they'll be honest with you about something and they're hoping that that is enough they're hoping that that is enough the chariot cancer energy after that um so it could very possibly there, it's it's a possible oh my god what is going on today please guys pray for me <laughs> because I cannot talk and it just started with this reading I have filmed a reading this morning and it went pretty well I think I was not struggling this hard it could be that this person just has a really hard time communicating maybe they're crappy communicators maybe they are constantly like stumbling over their words maybe they even have like a speech issue I don't know but I I don't usually struggle this bad <laughs> but I feel like this person could be coming to visit you with the chariot um, uh, maybe going to like somewhere that you frequent or somewhere they know you're going to be and um, they want to clear up the misunderstanding to them this is a misunderstanding they're going to make this right again that's what they hope for um, and they've been waiting around for a while this person I feel like this happened a little while ago and they haven't had the courage to come forward because they know they messed up or you block them straight up you block them but the Knight of Swords came out, the Ace of Swords came out, the Page of Swords came out. I even think the Page of Swords is behind this. Yes, the Page of Swords is behind the Chariot. So for them, honesty is very important. It might be too little too late. That's going to be up to you to decide. But their intention is to be very honest with you. 
and to kind of match your energy with the emperor here. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for bearing with me through this reading. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to enter the giveaway, the giveaway details are below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Aquarius, and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very, very soon. Take care.